What is up, guys? Pikachu49 here. We are back on the Desolation map. Today we find ourselves in the Sea of Glowstone. How did all this get here? Is this natural? No, it's not. We spent weeks, months, some might even say years, feeling the entire map full of glowstone underneath. This is so mobs can't spawn underneath the world because we got a lot of redstone going on. And that's what I'm working on today, guys. I'm going to do a little redstone project for you. This is an exciting one. I'm going to show you how to do a combina- a very simple, might I add, very simple combination lock. Right? Oh man. A lot of people have asked me how I do this because I have one in the food mansion and you have to put in a digit code so you can enter a certain area. And that's what we're going to be doing for the mall. Oh baby. In order to get to the generator, you're going to have to put in a code. Alright. Now before I show you how to build it, I want to show you something really cool that's one of my friends, I think it was Ejaz who said this. I'm in creative mode right now, and we had to get rid of all this dirt, Solid and I. Solid MP15 and I got rid of all this dirt, because we're going to be doing something special down here. I'm not going to tell you what, because it's a surprise. But we had to get rid of all the dirt, and as you can see, you know, it takes a while to get rid of dirt. Let me get on the juice. It takes a while to break blocks, okay? But, if you have a shovel with efficiency 5 on it, and throw yourself into adventure mode. Check this out, guys. Whoa! Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Whoa. Way faster. So, guys, if you got to clear a large amount of space, you know, and you're in creative mode, I suggest using this technique. It is so much more efficient. Oh, baby. So I'm just going to get rid of all this because I'm going to be doing some redstone here. Like I said, some simple redstone. I don't know how long this video is going to take today, guys. This could be a really short video or it could be a really long video. I'm going to keep recording until I got this thing done. Now, oh, back to creative. I haven't built this door. I'm not even, I'm not joking, guys. I haven't built this door in two years. Yes, two years. It's been two years since I built this door. Let's see. It's so simple though that I have confidence that I can still do it. I have confidence that I can still do it. First things first. What's all this? That wasn't supposed to be like that. First things first, I want to make sure that you're not going to be able to use TNT to get into this place. Okay? That is a very big issue for me. We don't want TNT to be an option here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Come on now. I'm going to bedrock... All of this, um, so that's the floor, I think all of that, yeah. I'm going to bedrock all of this so you can't blow your way through. Just like this, right? Okay. Is that, no, that's too big. I need a two by two. What am I doing here? Okay, this door needs to go down. We'll bring it in this way. All right, there we go. That's the door. That's the door. We'll worry about the aesthetics later. That is the door. You cannot blow your way in there. Then we're going to have some pistons. Man, it's been so long since I've been able to play survival mode that I've forgotten a lot of things. A lot of things. Because, you know, the survival mode, you know, made me stay up on my redstone. Because, you know, you have to make so many machines and so many other things that, you know, things that redstone is used for. In this desolation map, we haven't used a lot of redstone. Okay, that's perfect, except that what am I doing? What am I doing? This has to go down one. <laughs> I'm a silly guy. Okay, got the distances all set up. Perfect. Okay, there we go. So that's going to be the door. We'll have some end portal frames. And stone. There we go. Just like that. Okay, now I need to hotwire these. You guys are about to see some real rudimentary redstone. But that's okay because that's okay. Let's get rid of that. Alright, how am I gonna do this? Guys, I know that what I'm about to do is not the most efficient way to do it. And I don't care. I don't mind that. All that I care about is doing it quickly. <laughs> okay, that's all I really care about. Now that's gonna that's gonna provide both doors opening. Excellent, excellent. Um I could use oh well we'll just do it the hard way. Just like this. Okay? We'll do it just like this, and we'll bring it all the way down. Perfect, perfect. Yes. Yes, brother. <laughs> okay, there we go. So that's going to be the door. So this is all wired in. 
We're gonna need a power source. This will be the power source coming into that wire there. Of course, we'll have to invert the signal, but that's no worries. So let's, okay. So now the door, the door is there. Where is the keypad going to go? This is a nine digit keypad. So this is the floor here. So we'll put it right there. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, three. Okay, this will be the keypad. And then we'll put this. This block here is number one. That's number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, and number nine. So basically, for this door to work, you're gonna enter a three digit number. You'll go eight, six, one, and the door will open. Oh man, I have to make a T flip-flop and I forgot how. Oh no, I'll have to use a comparator. Oh no, I may not finish the door today, but you'll get the gist of it, guys. You'll get the gist of it. Uh-oh, losing the juice. Losing the juice! All right, anyway, here we go. Um, So what I want to do is figure out what my code's going to be. Now obviously, after this video, I'm going to go back and change the code, but I'm going to show you the gist of it. So we'll start with number... Uh, we'll give it number seven. So what I want to do is, since seven is the first number, this has to have a long delay. It's going to have six delay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So we're going to put six repeaters down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they're all going to be at full timing. We're going to open them all up so they delay the signal as long as they possibly can. All right, the next number is going to be... Let's go with... Uh, seven, let's go with six. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is from the number six, right here, I'm going to use three repeaters. One, two, three, at full delay. There we go. And for the last number, we'll go with one, just, uh, just one. And this will be on no delay, no delays whatsoever. So let's make sure everything works. So the idea behind this, guys, it, or let me let me just keep building and I'll show you the idea behind this. Now, what I'm going to do is hook them all to a block with a torch. So let's put that there. Let's bring this out and then down. All right. So they're all coming together. Oh, whoa, a little lag spike there. Guys, did you hear? The update has been confirmed. We're getting a lot of bug fixes. I'm a little concerned though for the potions. There was no mention of potions being fixed. I'm a little concerned about that. There's no mention of this lag problem. Like ever since TU31, we've had in crippling lag. By crippling, I mean we can't, people are complaining that they can't load the world. It just won't load. People have just left the world because they're like, oh, this world's not loading. So I don't know how they plan on addressing that. We'll see. So basically this is the way it works, guys. All three of these are hooked up to this torch, this RS, what's it called, an RS t latch, I think it's called, I forget, my terminology's not there. But basically, if you hit the right combination, first it's seven, look at the signal, it's taking its time, it eventually reaches, okay? The next number is six, it takes its time, less time, but it eventually reaches. And the last number is one, and that goes instantly. So now the idea behind this is to hook this up to my gate. There we go. Hook it up to the gate. And we'll put a, put a repeater so everything is kosher. There we go. So now it's based on timing. Seven. You, you got to get the timing right, guys. Seven. Six. One. Oh, okay. Something's wrong. Something is wrong. What just happened there? When I press six, it went off. See, always a problem with this redstone, guys. Always a problem. Now, why is that cause? Why is that causing that to go off? Okay, what am I missing here? What am I missing? Okay, I've done something wrong. I've done something wrong. Hmm. Let me think of what I could. Oh, I know what I've done wrong. I'm a silly sack of. I'm silly. Okay, go back. Go back. This is what I've done wrong. Here we go. These all have to feed into one. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Like such. Oh no. Gotta bring it back one. Let's move it here. 
Oh, that's too much. <laughs> I'm derping, guys! Like I said, I haven't done this in two freaking years. Two years, so you'll have to bear with me. That's not right. All these have to feed into the same thing, don't they? Like this. Like that. Like that. And like that. Now let's see if that works. Okay, let's see if I just press the button. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. I do need to invert the signal though, so let's invert the signal. I also need to put a, um, a, a uh, what do you call it? I've forgotten already, I just said it earlier. But it's not a butt switch. There we go, 761. It's all based on timing, seven, six, and I missed it. Cause of lag, oh it's so laggy. Okay, let's try again. It's so laggy guys, seven. Please, 4J, I hope you're fixing this. There we go. All right, so I need what I need to do is make that stay open. I've forgotten how to do a a um, T flip flop since the update, so you know, I know you can do it with comparators, but I can't think of it right now. So let's put in the wrong code. Nothing, right? Nothing. I got nothing here. Seven, six, one, open. All right, let's see if I can accidentally make a T flip flop. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It'll be better, guys, if I cut the video here and I come back. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm back for the last time. I got rid of the whole mumbo-jumbo thing. I don't think it works on Xbox. It just didn't. So I got this right here. I found a tutorial, some guy with some like 22 views. I'll put a link in the description. Um, I don't know if it's the best way to do this, but it's the way we got. Okay, so hopefully this works. Let's try it out. So right now, the door is cl open. So if we put in our code, nothing happens. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe it. Is everything, so uh, okay, I this is why. That's why. That's why. Okay, I was I was just testing things out right there. All right, right now the door is closed. Okay, door is closed. So seven, six, one. We've done it. Oh man, we've done it. Thank the goodness. Thank the goodness that we finally done it. Here is the tip T flip flop that I used. Um, I don't think it's the best. I don't know for sure, but it's the one we got. If you want to see how to do this T flip flop, check out the link in the description. Okay, not too shabby guys. So basically what I'm gonna do is we're gonna have uh, We're gonna block all this off. This is gonna be the the con control panel I'm not gonna tell you how you are gonna find out the code. Okay, and finding the code is up to you Let's just say it's to be found somewhere I'm gonna work on the aesthetics in here and make this into a little room where you got to enter a security code Oh, man so I think we're gonna sign off there. That's some redstone. I know it was the not the most uh, streamlined. It was pretty derpy, but we got it done in the end. So that's all that matters. All right. Uh, tips to you YouTubers making tutorials. If your intro is longer than your video, you got a problem. If you don't get to the point of what you're building in the first ten seconds, you got a problem. If <laughs> If your video for a T flip flop is longer than 90 seconds, you got a problem. Just some things I learned from scanning the YouTube just now. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you with that. Make sure that uh, if you want to add this into your world, don't even don't even hesitate because it's a really fun way to you know make security. I like security. All right, bye, Minecraft boy, and bye to you. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy Minecrafting. Peace.